What's up, y'all? I five old Botox. Out here running on the southwest side of Chicago lanes. Let me change this up. I think I'm gonna be jingling the whole time. Anyways, been seeing a lot of videos about new metal and deftones and how rap rock it's really coming into retro style the 90s and the millennium with the Y2K brand it all goes back deep I'm like a classic millennial I was born in 1986 so I was 15, 14 in the year 2000 I was 15 and you know you know September 11th watch that shit at school first period channel one shit I bought Deftones White Pony the day it came out special edition CD I still got the I still got the jewel case and it hasn't been until you know maybe to be NSF hasn't been until the past two three years really since the beginning of COVID that uh, I started uh, re-listening to a lot of the new metal that I grew up on you know when I was like six to eight years old all the way up to 94 it was grunge man you know I knew who Kurt Cobain was in second and first grade he killed himself when I was fuck how old I you know killed himself in 94 I was eight years old I was in I remember the day he shot himself I remember the moment my little classmate my little eight year old classmate told me he died I remember Stone Temple Pilots. I used to tell my mom, Mom, my favorite band is Stone Temple Pilots. Is this Stone Temple Pilots? And Kurt Cobain killed himself. And, you know, we move on. 96, 98. We start having Deftones on the scene. Marilyn Manson. Nine Inch Nails again. I was too young for the first round of Nine Inch Nails in 89, but I caught on to all that shit. Pretty Little Hate Machine, Downward Spiral, The Fragile, and then I was like the year 1999, 2000, and switched up. And I think a lot of young kids my age their musical style was switched up new metal was everywhere all over MTV I mean maybe not Deftones but Korn, Limp Bizkit Linkin Park and you got the post grunge you got Nickelback three doors down and that's just bullshit but the new metal has come back strong and I really didn't start to revisit any of that, like I said, until COVID started and I was at home and I was just listening to music with my kids, reminiscing and coming back to the system of a down, Rage Against the Machine, Deftones, even that early corn. They did stuff that people weren't doing. Truly, it was like postmodern, mixing rap and hip hop, or rap and hip hop and metal and punk and hardcore. And, you know, Korn and Deftones doing their seven string guitars and eight string guitars. No one was doing that shit, except for like, you know, more proggy Steve Vai type guitarist, but 
the heavy effects, the dissonance, the sadomasochism, the nihilism. It was all, there was these punk ideals taken to the next step and using a wider set of influences. And today in 2023, I see it all coming back. It's beautiful. Hyper pop groups like Charlie XCX, Hunter Gex, and more of the PC music peeps as well. And then also the newer metal acts that are reincorporating new metal aesthetics, styles. It's all coming back strong. I feel a great sense of pride being into that shit as to, you know, once COVID hit, you know, I hadn't been listening to it, but in all my early thirties, late teens and twenties, my late teens, twenties and thirties, mid twenties, mid thirties, uh, sorry, I'm a... Uh, all over the place. My breathing. No bueno. But all throughout my late teens, 20s, and 30s, my musical tastes were shifted. And I was just thinking about how they were shifted by nearly one entire medium alone. I mean, maybe two. But starting to watch skate videos my freshman year of high school and getting into skating more and then Tony Hawk's Pro Skater even earlier that was that 1998 had it for PlayStation 1 played that shit all day and I learned that that soundtrack so well motherfucking Primus less than Jake Suicide Machines Man, who else? Everything was shifted though. I saw the the blatant consumerism late Limp Biscuit was promoting and how it had gone too far. And I denied it for so long. All of new metal. I went punk. I went ska. I went metal. And I was closed off to it. Part of the music, the music that formed my childhood, I closed it all off. And started listening to more obscure music, electronic music, experimental, music concrete, noise rock, skunk, skrunk. Math rock, art rock, all this shit, post rock. I looked at everything else but new metal. And now, as I watch the progression, as we all watch the progression of music, we see how it cycles. And all these Zoomers copying all this millennial shit feels weird to me as a fucking middle tier millennial. And it's good to revisit all this shit. And it's, you know, one of the most profound moments of my life was just started freshman year of high school going to St. Mary's High School in Phoenix, Arizona and talking to my ex-girlfriend she was my girlfriend that I knew from middle school and we had broken up but we were talking on the phone one night in like the first week of freshman year of high school 
she told me, you know, we were talking about how everyone we knew from our old school was hanging out with different people. And there are so many new people. There are all these different cliques. She told me how much she thought I had changed. And I felt true to that. I felt like I had changed. And it made me feel ashamed that I had changed. Because, you know, over the summer of eighth grade in the freshman year, my dad wanted me to join the football team, play sports. But I didn't want to do any of that. I wanted to skate. I wanted to work on my bands. Me and my best friend started the band in seventh grade. You know... I bought a bass guitar and a 10 inch Marshall practice amp. Turned the gain and the distortion switch on. Tuned my guitar down as low as I could and tried to play Walk by Pantera. And I had changed. I wasn't that happy, young, athletic white guy that my ex-girlfriend knew in eighth grade. I was an angry, countercultural little white boy who'd gotten into new metal and punk and skateboarding. Anyway, she told me I had changed. And I felt hurt by that. And I turned on, we got off the phone, and I turned on White Pony track 10 or track 11 changed in the house of flies and i want you change or what was it i watch the change in you like you never got wings something like that anyways long live a string guitar. I fight with flow talks. Thanks.